Okay, we're going to do a little sight reading and transposition. So if you turn to page uh, 192, 193, um, we're going to sight read through 7-30, uh, 7 31, 32, and 33. Um, for the two that ask for the transposition, we're going to do that as well. Okay, so actually what we're going to do is start with the ones that don't have any transposition and then go from there. Okay, all right. So that means we're going to do 7-31 first. Take about 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Look through it. Go ahead and pause the video right now so that you can take your time. And then when you're ready, hit play and we'll sight read through it. Okay, if you play the video, then let's get started with sight reading. So remember to all the flats that you're supposed to have. We'll go pretty slow tempo. One. Two, ready, go. you should be able to assess what you need to work on and do better, what you missed and everything like that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go on to 7-33. Go ahead and pause it to look through it right now. Take 15 or so seconds. Okay, if you have started, then you're ready to go. All right, one, two, ready. one I think that would come in handy with doing some ghost playing mainly because you have the hand position sh shifting quite a bit um, and you have some fingerings and you have some sharps starting from measure five towards the end so if it didn't go quite so well for you try ghost playing it once after you're done with this video ghost playing through it one more time okay all right so now the assignment for the week will be to choose between 7-30 and 7-32 whichever one you choose do the transposition that they specifically ask for, unless you'd like to try another key, in which case I can't say no. Um, but I would suggest doing the key that they ask for because then you're only going up or down by a half step. Okay? So let's start with sight reading through 7-30. Okay? Um, so what I'll do, pause the video right now and take however long you need to look through it for the original version. Okay, if you're ready and you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start. One, two, ready, go. So now you have, I'm going to shadow play the transposition. So for an A minor, since we're an A minor, we have no sharps or flats in the key signature and we're most definitely in a minor key. We're going to transpose to G minor. Now, before you do the transposition, take a look back at the G minor key signature. We've got B flat and E flat, and then we also have to watch out for F sharp since we are in harmonic minor. So think about that anytime that you play a B or an E, it's going to have to be B flat or E. E flat instead. Same thing with the F. We have to have F sharp. Okay? So, what I would highly suggest you doing 
is trying to do the sight reading of the transposition, but also coming back and checking this with it because I will be playing through things. So let's ghost play through it. And then after I'm done, I'll say, okay, let's go. And then you feel free to pause if you need to. So let's ghost play. Okay, pause the video if you need more time. If not, but if not, then let's go ahead and try it pretty slowly, okay? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Okay, so you just have to check your transposition once you've worked on them a little bit too. That'll help. What I would suggest doing is writing the key signature into um, right by the clefs for your transposition so that you can remember what to do, or just write I need B flat, E flat, and F sharp above it. Okay, let's look at 7 32 now. Okay, so take a little bit of time and look through it. Okay, you ready? Let's go ahead. If not, pause the video right now. Okay, so let's go about one, two, ready, go. Okay, all right, the biggest thing I will say for this, um, it's going to be easier for you to go at probably a faster pace because you won't be counting as long, but make sure that you count when you get to measures like 9 and 10 because you have nothing going on right there and it's going to be very easy to just skip and be like, which is not quite right because we need to count in between there, okay? All right, with that, we're going to take it from G minor, which is what we were just in, and transpose it up to A minor. So, A minor, remember, only black note we have is D sharp to make that harmonic minor, to make that leading tone. So every other note should be one. Okay. Now G sharp is the only one that you should have. Um, the only exception might be where they have C sharp and G major. That's going to be, end up being a D sharp later on. But, okay. But let's go fully th through it. Remember with transposition, it's going to be the same intervals, same, you should be starting with the same fingering. So count that from there if you need to write stuff in. If you're ready to go, let's try just a very slow playing through this and then we will go from, you can go from there. But if not, then pause the video and come back to this when you're ready for it, okay? One, two, ready, go. C. Sure. Okay. Okay. 
shirts. Okay, that's also a good thing to do to help out with um, knowing your notes and everything. If you can say them out loud, you are on a really good track doing the transposition. Okay, all right, so pick seven dash, between 7 30 and 7 32 for your assignment this week, do the transposition. And then you are all set for Thanksgiving break, and I will let you know what's going to be on the final by the end of the week. So, all right, have a good day.